They caught fire overnight. Now neighbors say squatters are to blame, but it's also not the first time the property caught fire. We were out there for another fire just earlier this year, and neighbors say no attempt to fix things seems to be working. Now people living nearby are more worried for their security than ever before. So we sent 13 Action News reporter David Schumann to look for answers. It's beginning to feel like an unsolvable problem for these people. In and out and in and out and in and out. They came back, ripped the plywood off the door of the other one. They don't even care. They'll sleep in behind it and start them a little fire. Indeed, squatters appear to have started this fire Wednesday morning. It was a backyard shed on the property near Nellis and Twain. Some neighbors say they wished the vacant home had burned as well. If I were younger, I might have been the one they got rid of that house, the whole house, because we're sick of it. And the other neighbors would be patting me on the back. It's not the first time our cameras have been out here. We covered the problem in February. It's just ridiculous. I says uh, immediately to my right and my left. That was John when we were out there the first time. Wednesday morning, he reached out again asking for help. Since February, Clark County has been out to board up the doors and windows. Neighbors say it hasn't made a difference. What are you supposed to do? You run them off, the cops run them off, they're back 30 minutes later. So we got on the phone with the county. Is there anything besides a Band-Aid to really make this go away? A spokesman said this address remains an open case. Metro Police told us an officer reported the home to code enforcement last month because the door was kicked in. The tweakers and the squatters, they are the predators and the police are the prey. They can't do anything about it. At six, I'll show you how neighbors are taking their security and safety into their own hands. David Schumann, 13 Action News. And she is saying it straight up here at 13 Action News. We aren't just reporting on the Valley's rampant squatter problem. We're actually doing something about it and taking action. We have compiled a database with all of your email complaints and assembled a squatter task force. We send your complaints to our contacts. So if you need some help dealing with a problem in your neighborhood, please let us know about it. Just send an email to squatterspotters at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number. In this week's war.